I was just opening up this nesting straw and if you can see that's sort of a little moving mass of stuff that is pollen mites and luckily the two the mud caps that you can see on either side of it um, they do contain the mites so the mites cannot escape from that particular brood chamber but obviously the mites hitchhiked in on the mother bee from a flower and ended up eating all the nectar and pollen source uh, food source that the mother had collected for the her um, mason bee baby and of course without food the bee dies and all these mites just keep multiplying and they are you can see that sort of see the color difference maybe there's more where the more yellow that's of course what's left of the pollen the mites themselves are almost sort of that clear color and um, it's another reason to open up your nesting straws because if you can imagine what it's like for these bees to have to go through all these chambers and eat through the mud with that mandible with their mandibles and then they enter a chamber like that yuck and they just get all over them and the mites they're not like the tracheal or varroa mites that are killing the honeybee they do get all over the the uh, mason bee and makes uh, weighs them down so much that they can't fly which obviously means they're not going to survive so it's real important to open up your straws to eliminate things like this and make it easier for your bees so that they end up emerging um, from their cocoons very robust and healthy and uh, able to go out and nest and reproduce. So, pollen mites, not good.